Hi everyone, this is part two of my zeroing video using the FX Wildcat Mark III with my scope. In the previous video you saw me shooting at a target 10 meters away which turned out to be pretty good so I've now got a target 20 meters away and another camera on it and we're going to see how far out the zero is. I expect these to be a little bit off and have to adjust the turrets again but let's see how we get on. Let's just rest this here. Oop. Right, let's put the magazine in. Rivals on fire. Right then, what can we see down the garden? Okay, I can see the target perfectly well. A little bit of focusing required. Right then. I haven't changed the rifle from when I did the 10 meter zero. Well, that's an awful lot more <laughs> windy now. Let's have a look at the, um, the center of the target. Where on earth did that go? Oh, I think that is in the uh, the blue circle at the top. Okay, so we're high. I expected this to be off at this distance, so we're a little bit high. Let's aim at uh, that center again. Yeah, we need to come down. So let's come down. Let's put a few clicks on it. Don't put too many clicks on because at this distance, a few clicks can be a lot of distance. Let's have another go. Still aiming at the centre. Yeah, we're coming down quite nicely, so we'll come down a little bit more. As I say, this is now 20 metres away, rather than the 10 that I started off with. Still aiming at that centre target. Any closer? Down a little bit more. This is exactly what I expected. At 10 metres it was fine, at 20 metres it would probably be a, a few inches out, but at least it's in the paper. Let's try that centre again. Ooh, fraction low that. We'll try the centre again, just to make sure that uh, it was consistent. The, the wind is a little bit of a nuisance at the moment. Yep. What was that? Fractionally low, so we'll just come up a couple of clicks. Said to target again. Not 100% certain where that one went. Let's have a go at uh, Mr. Bisley on the top left hand side. Let's kind of get some idea where the posts are going. Not too bad at all. At 20 meters, I'm happy with that. Let's try Mr. Bisley on the right hand side. Pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. I thought it would take more 
adjustments than this but I'm quite happy with that let's have a go at the red circle on the right hand side approximately three o'clock there we go not too bad at all red circle at nine o'clock I'm happy with that there's quite a bit of um, <laughs> foliage being kicked up behind this target which I don't think the target camera will pick up but I can see it in the scope <laughs> right let's have a go at the the white circle at the bottom about six o'clock round about there this is good enough for me now I can fine tune this I think what I'll probably do is uh, fine tune the, the trigger because I've, I've not got the hang of this trigger yet it's not quite to my desired um, requirements but let's try the red circle about six o'clock where that pellet in the white went round about there I'm quite happy with that let's have a go at the ball just for the head of it yeah we'll pull that one again this is my ability to hold the rifle still rather than the accuracy of the rifle itself have a go at the bull again I'm just the range with the kids, Not okay. too bad. I'm just... <laughs> Mrs. Tinkan's just popping up the range. Apparently. The white circle at about nine o'clock. Not too bad. I'm happy with that at 20 metres. I can take it further out now to 25. Let's just zoom in a little bit. If I'm zeroed at this distance, then it makes no difference what the zoom is set at. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going for the E and the A between beat at the top of the right hand. Hard to hold the rifle still now because I'm zoomed in so much. Oh this is very hard. <laughs> I pulled that one. <laughs> Way off. Let's have another go. It was kind of in the right area. I'm going to have to zoom out because I can't hold the rifle still on that zoom. I'm going for the blue outer circle at 3 o'clock. And that is good enough for me. Not too bad at all. Bit of fine tuning, bit of getting used to the rifle in a white circle at nine o'clock. Yep. That will do for me. Oh, I think I've emptied the magazine. Nice thing about this one is that you can't put a pellet in when the magazine's run out. So, happy with that. Let's take this mag out. I fire this off. I'm going to collect it up. Thanks for watching part two.